We are heading into Goodwill, and this is one of the Goodwills that Matt affectionately calls the Ohio Six. Yes, and they're all within 40 minutes of each other around Warren and Youngstown, Ohio. This one I really like. I think this was my favorite because it is very, very clean, very, very well curated for a Goodwill. Yeah, even the uh, cashier was super nice. Yes. And how do I know that? Because we found some good stuff here today, and we weren't alone. I don't know if when we opened up the vlog if you saw there was a scarecrow in the back, and uh, when we walked in, I literally thought it was a person staring at me. Uh, another nice thing about this Goodwill, it had the... Uh, Furniture in the back corner had fr uh, clothes in another section and it had housewares and collectibles in another section and toys in there complete. So it gave you the department store feel. This is true. Yes, this is it, true. What is that? That's, that's a mold. What would you put in that? That's like a cookie mold. You think so? Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was ceramic and decorative. It's some kind of mold baking. for some food. You saw these. You yeah. spotted these. Yeah, they have these uh, wreath uh, wreath keepers. Uh, I haven't seen one ones that are built kind of like that. So I was like, wow, they even have wreath keepers here. And then I found out there's wreaths all over the wall. They're everywhere. <laughs> Go figure. I really like these. And if you can see up there on the shelf, there are three of them. They were really super heavy. Mm -hmm. And oh, and this thing here, yeah. I do invite you to come back and look at this thing with me in just a second. So I almost grabbed it for my vlog. Actually, my aunt had one of Did those. you really? Yeah, that was a food server, 1970s, food, early 70s, Brady Bunch food server with all the different uh, dip dishes and everything. Oh, that sounds so good. I love it when we cut up veg and meats and cheeses and just do a whole smorgasbord if you want to have disco crudite there you go <laughs> these yeah two we actually found the anchor at another store up the road we found the other two the set right there so of course i i snagged them yep you did and this is why i say isn't it weird it's so weird how you go to one goodwill and you go to the other goodwill and somehow the set all goes together or there's the same items because can anybody tell me why that happens okay for a second i love this piece oh she does she told me what i didn't love about it is that it has a bunch of different chips on it. It's got it. a bunch of chip chips. Oh, I stared at that thing. I held that thing. I cradled that thing. It's and okay. then I put Let it, it back. Go. Oh, Let that it. was hard to walk Let away from. But this caught my attention. <laughs> See, I'm quick. I, I can come back from something really, really right. quick. I love the colors on that. That is definitely right. a beautiful Christmas piece. Yes. The hollies and the Yeah, the red and the green and the... Um, the metallic that's on oh, it. Oh, don't we have one of those? You know what? They were wooden ones that I found one time when we were uh, thrifting down in Florida. I do oh, have them on my yeah, wall. That's right. Yep. Those would definitely have needed a paint job. Yeah, I, I'm not into the green and the cream that was on it, though. I like that little duck print. What do you think Everybody of that? loves ducky ducks. I don't know. I just think that's 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 a cool piece. The ducky duck going crack crack on your wall. Yeah, well, there it is again, right? And I like the green that was in it too. There's a whole bunch of stuff just you know everywhere. Like this right here. This is Norman. You Rockwell. have an unhealthy uh, obsession with Norman Rockwell. Okay. Type stuff. In the last vlog, you said I was <laughs> obsessed with what cats. Yes. All right. So now it's Norman Rockwell. We just move on from obsession to obsession. I love those. You need help. Uh, pictures. You need help. <laughs> Uh, oh, those were cool. Those were cool, but they were not real. I know. They weren't real. I held them up. I'm like, oh, look at these. And you were right there with me. And then as soon as I turned it over and you were like, if you could, if they're that light that you can turn them over with one hand that quick. And I'm like, yeah, it says, doesn't it say made in China? Yeah, it says for decorative purposes only. Do you notice that? Yeah. And he's like, okay, those are yeah, not the real Put them real. down. Walk away. But they are nice. Yes. Would you have taken them home, guys? I think they were like, what was it, maybe 3 $4 a piece, I yeah. think they were. Look, a whole set of lights. Obviously, somebody had a wedding or something. Here's her other obsession. Birds? Birds. Okay, listen, you tell me, we took these home. We yes. took these birds home. Yes, we did. They're going to go on my eBay store. So, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, have you guys ever heard of birds called flowers of the sky? No? You got me on now. And you... They are. They're like they're called flowers of the sky, right? They they're beautiful flowers that fly. I love flowers. I love birds.
words. What kind of hippy dippy stuff is that? It goes together. <laughs> I'm telling you. Google it. Google it. It's a it's a whole thing. Ah, uh, here we go. My healthy obsession with owls. Yes, your unhealthy obsession with owls. That, I do like that's owls. number four. Listen, listen. Nobody's going to be on your team because everybody watching right now, or the majority of them, are going to say yes, Sonya. I love owls. Look, apple pie recipes. We saw a pineapple plate with a recipe on it. I wonder when they started doing that, putting recipes right on the actual plate. I don't know. Eighties, that was a big thing. Right? I'm about it. I mean, what if I got my card? Okay, you got those things. Oh, look at that! Did you yeah, see that? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I really that was the first thing that. Snack. This is a picture. Picture. Okay, I loved it. I really like these. They just look like scientific fun. You know, if I could put some like little lights inside there, but it was all one piece. They look like a bad Miami Vice episode to me. <laughs> no, it remind me of like something you'd see in Harry Potter world. You know, they do not look like. Beacons. We're just gonna have to make our own. <laughs> yeah. This so. was cool. Did we get this piece? Right. I handed it to you. Right. What no, did you do with we it? Didn't. We didn't. We didn't get this piece. No. All right. Because it had an issue. I can't remember what the issue was. It was the screw was like halfway out and it was all bent. What did I see there? I don't know. You grabbed that Stein. So I'm, I'm a Stein guy and those ones are just mass produced pottery reproductions for real cheap, right? Yes. Matt so. does collect Steins. Anybody else out there? Okay. This is when I called you over. I'm like, come take a look at this. Yes. And then you help me get it down. It's the, it's the roulette wheel of crudité. <laughs> You spin the wheel. But do you really ever lose if it's filled with wonderful edibles? I just can't. I can't risk going back in time spinning that thing around. Oh, man. I think the top was missing, but like when you really looked at the top. Yeah. But it took the two of us to get it down because it was tall. Right. Okay, this thing here I loved. A little vegetable serviette. Yes, yeah. I love. Remember that you found piece. the corn one, right? Yep. This was the fruit one. Oh, I like the colors about with this right. one. Yeah, and then I, I was looking around there, and then I'm like, mm, should I open it? You know, sometimes they put a piece of tape on it to keep it together, and then I'm like, well, if I buy it, I'm going to need to know. You don't open that stuff. I think it could be like the Dybbuk box. You oh, know? You never, never know. open it. Never open it. You don't it. know you what you're going to unleash. Yeah. This is true, like Pandora's box. Yes. Pandora's basket. Actually, you know that was a translation thing. It was Pandora's jar. Was it? Yeah, but now we're just hooked on box, so we gotta go with that. Pandora's box. It was it was a jar. Well, what do you think's inside here? I don't wanna know and you need to leave it there. Why do you keep doing that? I well, I was debating getting it. Do you remember I kept saying, Should I get this? Do you're you gonna have this? The, you're gonna have like ghosts of old fruit following us home. And then I wanted to know what was inside and it was a homemade piece. I think it's a nineteen seventy one. Well these were the ones that I told you were ceramic blanks that people did classes, right? Okay. They would they would paint them and glaze them and then they'd have some way fire. I walked around the store debating whether or not I should take it home or not, so that's why I had to open it. That was cool. Was it was inside. painted like it was old, that, that clock. clock. Yep. Yeah, I like but, those old yeah. mantel clocks. But I think that one was plastic. It was brand new, yeah. yeah. Oh, you saw this. Yeah, the old Chinese uh, sparrow cage. It was uh, bamboo and rattan, and it was super cool, but it was broke. Is that an entire bird condo? It is. And your bird is supposed to go yeah, all the way around Yeah, like it? two or three birds in there, right? Really? Yeah. That's a big birdhouse. That's like, yeah, it's like the birdhouse from uh, Gremlins, you know? The old Chinese guy had his bird house. Oh, he was feeding his bird. Yes, you know it's yeah. just a season to watch Gremlins. It is. Do you guys consider it consider it a Christmas die movie? Die Hard, Die Hard, and Gremlins are the two greatest Christmas movies of all time. Really, I'm gonna have to watch Die Hard. Yes. I don't even remember that one. Nakatomi, Nakatomi. Okay, I'll right. watch it. I like this one. That wasn't actually in it. Holder. That was from Bob's uh, Bob's Burgers to kids uh, play. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love Bob's Burgers. That's a <laughs> Work hard or die trying. <laughs> uh, this was just a bunch of all kinds of stuff put together there. I did like the little pumpkin and the ghost. Right. Ain't that sweet? I did not see that one. That was cute. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. These here, I Knock always offs. get excited when I see it, but yeah, I forget. What are they called again? They're not Hummels. German Hummels? No, Hummels, yeah, but they're not Hummels. How do you know the difference? Because Hummels are marked. Okay. Anyway, more pottery class pieces. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, that, that was, was cool. neat. That one was kind of nice, right? Yeah, I like the colors. Not into crepes, though. Though It was kind of weird because it had this weird, uh, what I'm pointing at there is it had this weird stoneware glaze, and then it had that Italianate grapes and vine. It was like a mishmash of stuff. Oh, there's a... Uh, uh, it was like a hash tray. Yeah, okay. it was a Navajo. It was a Navajo souvenir. It this had, thing here, it had it, petrified wood on it. I gotta tell you, this thing here mm -hmm. scared me to death. Yeah, it was the Leaning Tower of Glass. All yeah, right? because somebody did that. That wasn't actually. And it was all glued together. Somebody all was one being. Piece. Somebody was being cheeky. As, and as the English I love this. All together, all one piece. But there was no way I was reaching that on top of the shelf. And if I were to take it down, I mean, what are, we, what are you going to do with like it? There was like four or five like pieces. It. There were four or five pieces. There's there. a whole thing now where you, there's yeah. a, like, a, like a, not a craze. It's a trend where you you get those pieces and you glue them all together. Yes. I'm not really into it, but it is a thing out there that pe some people do really, really like. Look, yeah. there's somebody trapped in a jar up there. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. I didn't either. I kept coming past it. And I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't look at it. Uh, I look, I picked up this piece. I thought maybe it was old, but it was just, I think it was a newer piece, but it had the paint all rubbed off of it. Cute little blue piece there. I always look on the lower shelves, too, because you know when you stand up, you miss what's on the bottom. Spaghetti! Spaghetti. Oh, I love spaghetti and garlic bread. Mm -mm -mm. I think this was another homemade piece. Yeah, maybe a soap dish holder. oh it's a spoon holder soap dish or spoon holder spoon holder what's your vote this guy here oh I why debated. didn't you just get him i debated getting him i just thought he would be so cool it's a cookie jar cookie jar and it says in the 90s i think it was 96 he lost his feet and i loved him i posted him on my facebook page and i said would you guys have taken him him home or left them there. You were asked for punishment, uh, weren't you? Uh, yeah, that might be one of those that haunts me <laughs> forever. There was, a, there was a sale going on, too. Did you know that? Yeah, or only until this, you watch this video again. <laughs> I love those glasses. I don't think they were old. And then um, as we got up to the register, I, do you remember yeah. me showing you these? Yeah. They were Wood, wooden milk, milk jars. Yeah. I had never seen anything done like this with wood before. Have you guys? I thought they were cool. 